Hey guys, Tyson's Honor here. Have you ever wondered how some people can make recruiting look so easy? Like they'll call people and be like, hey, would you come check out this thing? And they don't ask what it is. They just show up and it's like they join their business without asking a lot of questions. And I remember whenever I was first trying to build my network marketing business, my sponsors just made it look so easy and I couldn't figure out what did they have that they did differently that I didn't have? What was I doing wrong? And um, anyway, I've kind of figured this out over the years and I was listening to an interview uh, today uh, that, that really kind of drove it home. And I want to just uh, talk to a little bit, talk to you guys a little bit today about really the two words that will make recruiting way easier for you. And those two words are personal brand. Okay. If you don't know what a personal brand is, by the way, yesterday I mentioned to you guys, um, if you're on my email list, I sent out an email yesterday, uh, telling you guys about some free interviews, uh, at, uh, Ray, that Ray Higdon did with several top marketers. Anyway, I got these ideas that I wanted to talk to you about in today's video from the interview with Ben Settle. If you have not yet gone and downloaded, uh, this virtual summit, go get it. It's totally free. Uh, you can get it at successwithtyson.com forward slash V S for virtual summit. All right. And uh, anyway, I just want to kind of run through a few reasons why you want to have a personal brand. Okay. Why do you want to build a personal brand? And uh, one of the things that Ben Settle talked about in his interview that I thought was just really great is the fact that they actually did a study on some of the Apple fanboys, people who just will buy anything Apple, right? It's like the day Apple comes out with something, regardless if it was a mediocre product or it's their best product, they're going to buy it. They're going to stand in line for hours upon end and wait to buy it. Why? It's because Apple has a brand, right? And they're buying more into the brand of Apple and what Apple believes in and how they feel about being associated with Apple than they actually are the products themselves, okay? They said that the these Apple guys, these Apple fanboys, their brains actually associated with Apple very similarly to the way that um, people in a cult associate with a cult. Um, and that's not to say that you should create you know, a personal brand just so that you can have bad products. No, not not at all. I mean, you still want to have great products and uh, you, you still want to create a great experience for the people that you're, uh, that you're trying to recruit or that you're trying to sell stuff to. But the truth is having a personal brand, it's a large part of the work is already done for you, okay? I realized this as I started promoting myself. Instead of just promoting the things that I was promoting, the products I was promoting, as I started promoting, promoting Tyson's Honor and my knowledge and my skills, I was able to sell stuff much more easily, right? And a lot of people think, oh, well, in order to have a brand, I have to have had success. Well, that's easy for you to say, Tyson. You've recruited, you know, over a thousand people in 12 months and, you know, you've made, you know, multi, you know, uh, multi six figures uh, in your business in a year and you can use those, um, those results as a part of your brand. But the truth is, I didn't start my brand that way. Um, in fact, the next point I really want to bring up to you guys is that, you already have a personal brand with your warm market. Now that could be good or it could be bad. Um, Eric Worre has, I've heard him say several times, in fact, Ray talked about this with Ben in today's interview. Um, Eric Worre said, you are either punished or rewarded for the life you led prior to getting into network marketing, okay? And what, what does that mean? It means that you already have a brand with your warm market. Perhaps your warm market sees you as somebody who's really business savvy and somebody who really makes smart decisions financially. And for that reason, being able to call those people up and say, hey, uh, check out this thing, they're just gonna do it just because you're you and because of the reputation and the brand that you already have with them, right? I didn't have that. In fact, I had the opposite of that with my warm market. My, I had been in so many network marketing companies that my warm market actually said, when I called and I said, hey, you should come check out this thing. They're like, what is it? Oh, are you in another one of those things, they said. And I actually had the opposite of a good personal brand. And I was punished for the life I led prior to my last company that I got into. And that's one of the reasons I came online. I was able to build a different brand. I was be able to build a new reputation with people who had no idea who I was. And that's one of the beauties of doing this online and building a personal brand on the internet. And guys, the great news is you do not have to have a 
you don't have to have results to start building a personal brand. And I'm going, I'm, I've actually got an, um, a, a live webinar coming up um, in about a week. I think it's going to be on Friday, the, is the 22nd of Friday? It's, uh, it's next Friday. Mark your calendar. I'll be sending out registrations for it. I'm looking on my phone right now to see if next Friday, yeah, it's on Friday, May 22nd. Mark your calendars for my upcoming webinar. I'm going to be talking to you a little bit more about the importance of how to build a personal brand and what you can do even if you don't have results yet, okay? And then finally, um, in the interview today with Ben Settle, he talked about a really cool strategy. I'm running out of time, so if you want to hear about the strategy, just go over and get the interviews. They're totally free. Um, he talks about a strategy in uh, today's interview about basically how you can incorporate a personal brand and actually get your prospects to contact you and qualify those people in a minute or less or disqualify them. That can actually be the more important thing because the truth is not everybody is going to be right. And what I see a lot of network marketers doing is they're spending a lot of time talking to people who are not qualified prospects. The first thing you want to do when you get on the phone with somebody is you want to qualify them or disqualify them so that you know, all right, is this a person worth spending more time talking to? Or do I need to move on to the next person? Because when you do that, you can fit in way more people. And guys, when you can fit in more numbers, you're simply going to sign up and recruit more people. So if you want to hear about that strategy, Ben and Ray talk about it a little bit at the end of the interview, go over and download those um, uh, those free interviews. There's nothing for sale. They're totally free. It's successwithtyson.com forward slash V. S as in virtual summit. When you get there, uh, you'll see this page. Just simply click on sign me up, put in your name and your email address, and you will be able to download those um, uh, all all of these interviews. There's only a couple of them available, but he's releasing a new one each day. I think you're really going to like them. So anyway, go grab that right now and make sure you mark your calendar for uh, Friday, May 22nd. I've got a live webinar coming up with a special guest uh, that you guys do not want to miss. And I'll be talking to you guys about how to build a personal brand uh, in your own business, even if uh, you're brand new and you don't have results yet. All right, head on over to successwithtyson.com forward slash VS. Grab the virtual summit. Listen to some of these interviews for yourself and we'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.